Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a test. This is the real deal. And I don't want to panic you, but I want to make sure that you understand that there is a major hurricane that is in the Gulf of Mexico. I can still feel it like it was yesterday, even though it happened so many years ago. My mom's is just like me. She's daring, she's not afraid of nothing. But I heard fear in her voice. That's what made me go. I've never heard my mom sound like this. Well, this may weaken below a category five before it hits land, but that's still extreme damage. Of course, we was being optimistic because we thought it was coming right back. Kind of. Okay. 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 It's time to go. What was wrong? Oh Lord, I've done the best I can. Please, Jesus, remember me. Remember. Thank you, y'all. I'm finna go now. Thank you very much. All right, all right. Feeling good. Watch the watch. Watch out for the little cop. This one. <laughs> Katrina is still alive. Cause there's there's no Bourbon Street back here. There's no uh, French quarters back in the Lord Night Ward. It's just us. Before Katrina, I had 42 neighbors. Today, I have three. And I can understand why the big box stores are not coming back, because there's not enough people to sustain it. And I can understand why some of the people don't want to come back, because there's no businesses. Somebody has to do something. And it turned out that somebody was me. He's bold. He don't mind diving off into something that most people think it, is, it doesn't make sense. but. For some reason, he sees it different from other people. If you give someone your word, your word is your bond. That's something my mom used to tell me and my brothers. And I told everybody I was going to open up a grocery store. In this one building, we have a barber shop. I have a hair salon. I have a sweet shop a grocery store, and now we have a laundry room. I spent my entire life savings opening up this business. I had people to laugh at me. I had people tell me that it was going to be a failure. I had people to tell me another Katrina is going to come to wipe it out. I tried, and they didn't try anything at all. And I'm still trying. And that's why I can't stop. It's, it's been too many years to have an empty lot like this, where this was somebody's house. Every day, someone's knocking at my door, asking me to build something. I say, just give me some time. I'm gonna open up you know, more businesses. What's going 
going on, sir? Man, I don't know. Bro. <laughs> Glad you're able to come to me. You know I never let you down. Thank you. <laughs> if your home is hurting, you're supposed to take care of your home. And I'm going to keep working until I can get the Lord Night Ward to catch up with the rest of the city. It's a new day around here, you know? Good community, thanks to God. Mr. Bernal, you know? He bringing life back to the neighborhood. I've been trying to get a hold of you for the longest. <laughs> I feel whatever. I ain't nothing like your own hometown, but you're born and raised that. It could happen again. I'm going there and coming back. I'm coming right back to it. And my ambition is to live long enough to see not it come back as it was, but better than what it was. You know how to say, they don't think one person can make a difference. One person can make a difference. You have to really, really want it. And don't let nobody tell you can't be done.